How's it going guys? We're out here taking some photos and we thought we'd bring you along just to show you our uh, creative process and what really goes into making the pictures you see on our Instagram and on our website. So Brian's setting up a shot here. I did one down at the boardwalk that I was absolutely in love with and now knife pictures just have to have this. Leading lines. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's, the, that's one of the big things in photography is if you can get leading lines, two parallel lines going off into the sunset. It's always great for pictures, always. And I definitely love the uh, gorilla filmmaking, just kind of going out, finding a spot, sneaking in and sneaking out. And we're not really sneaking, like we're literally right next to the road, so. We are photographing CRKT's new, uh, what's this one called? Actually, it's so new. It the literally clutch. just showed up this, this evening. And uh, let me turn this around for you. It is just a beautiful knife. It's a copper, it's a copper color uh, finish with a, a single OD green G10 scale on this side exposed over here. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And not a bad price either. No, it was under 50 bucks. Which is awesome. We right. love budget knives. Right. I brought another budget knife along uh, that we haven't shown you guys yet, but uh, we're going to do a torture test on it. That is going to be exciting. Yeah, this one in particular uh, is exclusive to Blade HQ, so if you want one like this, dude, look. Look, look what's crawling up the track. They're making fun of us, guys. Look at that. So I'm going to try and Spotted nin fly. ninja him. Get him. Yeah. Did you get him? Believe it or not, I did not. <laughs> They're so quick. They are quick. All right, that's actually interesting. We're probably gonna get yelled at by old engineers for playing on the train tracks. Yeah, that would not surprise me. These lines aren't used that often and uh, we're not being dumb about it, so. True. If we hear a train coming, we're gonna go. Yeah, be respectable about this kind of stuff for sure. We're shooting that. Oops. Okay, guys, look here. We have, trying to focus in the knife. We have an Ethan Growl. I believe this is model 269. I will put it up on the screen. This knife, believe it or not, guys, $15. $15 for this knife. And D2 where did you steel. Get that? Amazon. Nice. Yeah, it's on a limited deal right now. We can get this guy for $15. My opinion, best knife you can get for $15. It's insane. And it's beautiful too. And it ride, it's riding on bearings. Is it really? Had to put a little flick into it, but really, nice knife. So what are you looking for when you're taking a picture? Well, sunlight <laughs> lighting is key. I mean, anybody who's into photography knows knows that. And we're, we, I wouldn't call this golden hour yet. We're almost I, there. We're, yeah, it's it's close. It's a little, uh, little bright. For you guys. Golden hour essentially is sunset. That like golden color you get from you know the sun going down essentially is what we're looking for here we don't have that harsh sunlight coming in and Zach had a gorgeous shot let me kind of recreate what he had I was like I was messing around over here he had this shot set up where I think we're was it something like this yep we're just catching sunlight over the top there it is Okay, so he was just catching sunlight coming over the top. We've got it setting over here, so it's coming this way. Just catching the top of this. It was just a yeah. beautiful shot. You also get a small amount of light through this hole right here, which we just kind of got lucky with. And you also get the leading line of this track going out that way, so. Insane. It's, it's really what you want to look for. And right. using the sun to your advantage is huge. Like if we set this guy here, you guys can see you zoom in, you get a really beautiful sun flare. And I took this picture right here in this exact spot. 
I mean, the sun right now, honestly, you could even grab a couple shots from this side. You know, it's not, it's not too harsh. So realistically, waiting to that golden hour is just key for these shots. And we're gonna spam this all over Instagram. Do you have any other pro tips, Zach? I mean, you, you definitely have a lot more experience with photography than I do. Yeah, I think the main thing when you're starting is just getting out and experimenting. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram's actually crucial. Getting, uh, getting motivation, and you can take those pictures with you, and really experimenting and seeing how that person shot that photo, and then recreating it. It's like a secret toolbox when you absolutely once you learn how things are done. I mean, it's it's cake after that. I agree. So presets. Talk about presets real quick. I've been cheating a lot with presets, but I don't want to call it cheating because I've actually been learning a lot about uh, adjusting my photos essentially when I'm when I'm using them. So it's kind of it's actually been a great uh, teacher, if you will. I don't, do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, and I really don't see it as cheating. It's just another asset that you can buy. It's absolutely it's like buying any other tool. And I mean, I've I've been talking to him about. It. I mean, his pictures look 100% better since he started using. I mean, it's just another layer that takes it to the next level, and it doesn't always have to be your handcrafted. Right. I mean, I and tweak it. I try and tweak it, give it my own perspective and my eye. Obviously, I took the picture, I put the preset on, and then kind of tweak it how I see fit. I mean, there are some pictures I take, throw the preset on, and it looks outstanding right, right from there. And you know, I go and upload it. So that, or go and upload it. So, yeah, I think that's that's a big part. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong presets whatsoever i'm gonna throw a preset on this picture and it's gonna look amazing so on my way home i was just like you know i, I really felt moved i was like i really want to go over by the train tracks to try and get you know that that sunset train track shot of this knife and i really think we pulled it off uh, check out our instagram and uh, let us know what you guys think yeah so we're gonna throw in all those images right now so you can see them but uh if you want to see them they can see them on the Instagram as well. On Instagram, on Facebook, they'll be on our website eventually. But uh, yeah, so thanks for coming along. Just a short little video today, but figured we'd come show you how uh, how we take pictures. Thanks, guys. <laughs>